So we're still in December and that means we're still in dos -cember. So all month, a bunch of YouTubers are creating videos about DOS and DOS applications. Well, actually this channel is always about DOS. We're always talking about DOS or free DOS or uh, our favorite DOS applications and games. Uh, and this time I wanted to do a follow-up from last week. So last week I talked about how to write your own very simple game, which is basically a number guessing game. Computer picks a number between one to 100, and then you try to guess what it is. And we wrote that very simple program in C. It turns out there's one other way that you can do that, and it actually is in a spreadsheet. And so I wanted to use my favorite spreadsheet, as easy as, uh, and write that very simple game uh, using some cells and, and comparisons in as easy as. Let's do that. So over here I've got uh, as easy as. Let's go ahead and run as easy as. Now this is a uh, shareware spreadsheet and that means that uh, you could uh, originally download that and try it out for a limited number, of, limited number of days. And then if you liked the program you should send in a uh, registration fee, which usually wasn't too high, and uh, then you could get access to the full program. Well, Trius, who made as easy as, has since released this as freeware, which means you could download it, uh, including an, uh, a full access code, and you can even download the manual. And so I'll put a link to that in the video description. So let's go ahead and write that uh, number guessing game uh, in as easy as. So uh, first up here in A1, and we're going to go ahead and pick that random number. Uh, so uh, we're going to use a random number function. So uh, the random number function in a spreadsheet is the rand function. Uh, in, in DOS spreadsheets, you start all functions with an at. And so we're going to type in at rand. Let's just look at what that value is. Actually, there's there's no parameters to that, so there's no parentheses. That's why it gave me a little beep. Uh, so at rand gives me this random number. And if you can see, if I hit F9, it's going to change that random number. That random number is going to be between 0 and 1. Well, I want this to be between uh, 1 and 100. So I'm going to do uh, replace the uh, rand with uh, a new calculation here, which is I want this to be an integer value. So we'll do an int of uh, rand times 100. Now that's going to give me a value between uh, 0 and 99, right? Because rand is going to give me a value between 0 and 1 and actually 0 and 0.9999999. Uh, when you multiply times 100, it's going to be between 0 and 99.9999999999. So uh, when you turn that to an integer, it's going to be between 0 and 99. So I actually at the end here, when I'll add 1, that gives me a value between 1 and 100. And so there you go. This one's chosen 3. Now if I hit F9 a couple of times, you can see it's going to completely recalculate that value. You can see it's going to pick 42, uh, which is a great number, and uh, 93. And so every time I hit F9, it's going to recalculate a new number for me. Uh, we're going to, we have a way to hide that number, but for now, let's, let's leave that number up on the screen. And so down here, we might enter in our guess. And so if I typed in uh, 50 as my guess, between 0 and 100, that's not a bad guess. Uh, and we'll just actually say here, pick a number between 1 and 100. Uh, so 50 is a good guess to start with. Well, let's provide some feedback to the user. We'll do this in the cell right next to it. And so we're going to use the if function. It's a logical function. And so if takes three options. Uh, the first option is a comparison. And so for that, it's going to be, is the cell A5, which is where I'm going to enter in my guess, is A5 equal to A1? And then comma. And then the next uh, parameter here is what value it's going to insert if that test is true. And so if it's true, we want to have it uh, pick, or we want to have it insert the, the number uh, that's right. And then if it's false, we're going to have it put in some other value. And so let's just say uh, that's wrong. We're going to do other comparisons here in a second. But I just want to show you uh, that's right and that's wrong. And actually, every time I pick a number, uh, it, it turns out it doesn't actually recalculate my random number. But it will actually update the field over here. So if I were to type in, let's just say, uh, 33, 
So it didn't update my random number, uh, but it, it, it actually is doing some stuff over here to evaluate uh, B5. So I know that because if I actually enter in the correct number, B5, it actually tells me that's right. And so I can use that. Actually, uh, I, can, I can now use that to add to my if statement. So let's, uh, let's add to this. Let's edit this with F2. And so we need to stack our if statement with another if. So if it's not equal, then it's going to be either greater than or less than. And so I'm going to say if A5 is less than A1, then we're going to have it print out the value uh, too low. Now remember, it's either going to be too high or too low. So if it's not too low, it's going to be too high. Right? So every if statement can take three parameters. Uh, the first one's the test. The next one is what to insert if it's true. And the third one is what to insert if it's false. That's all it does. And so I need to have a, a closing parenthesis for that uh, if statement and then another closing parenthesis for the uh, parent if statement. And so I could put in, let's just put in 50. Okay, that number's too high. And so I might guess 20. Okay, that's too low. And so I might say uh, 40. That's too high. And I might say 35. And that's exactly right. And every time I hit F9 is only when it's going to recalculate that random number in A1. So if I hit F9 again, you can see it's now going to change that number. And so my guess 35 is now too high. And so I might say, okay, uh, maybe maybe 10. Oh, that's, that's too low. Uh, 20, well, that's too high. And so I might walk my way down and say 19, that, that's right. So now I know that every time I hit F9, uh, it's going to recalculate my random number. And so now uh, to make this into a game for myself, all I need to do is hide this value. So an easy way to do that is I'm just going to... Uh, use a color. So we'll do slash, that brings up the menu, right? Slash was the key that you would bring, uh, that you'd use in any DOS spreadsheet to bring up a menu. And we're gonna change the color. We're gonna do that with range. And then down there at the bottom, towards the bottom, you can see color. And I wanna change the color on this. So we're gonna change it to, oh, let's change it to this uh, purple on purple. And that, that's effectively hiding the value of that cell. So hit return on that. And that's the color range is A1 to A1. So hit return on that. And now you can see my number is uh, hidden. I can't see what it is. Um, and so now if I hit F9, now it's, the spreadsheet has picked a new random number. And so now I need to start guessing again. So uh, 19 is too low. So let's go ahead and just find something like 50. That's still too low. Uh, let's do 70. Oh, that's too high. So uh, 60 is in the middle. And that's right. Uh, and let's do it one more time. Uh, F9 to have it recalculate another random number. And now my number is too low. So it's between 60 and 100. And so I'll just pick 80, which is in the middle. That's too high. So we'll do 70, which is in the middle of uh, 60 and 80. And that's too high. So now it's between 60 and 70. So let's do 65. And that's too high. So between 60 and 65, we'll do 63. And that one's right. So uh, yeah, this is how you can make, uh, if you would like to, you can make a game in a spreadsheet, sort of a guess the number game where the uh, spreadsheet will pick a random number and then you need to uh, try and guess that random number. So yeah, you can do lots of uh, neat things in spreadsheets. So before I go, I just want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen, so thank you very much for that. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level and I want to thank you here especially, so thank you again. Before I go, visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.